Today I'm going to talk about why truancy matters, how chronic truancy negatively impacts individuals and communities. I'm going to move through the material quickly because much of it will already be familiar to you. I expect that most of you will be surprised at the, the large number of different ways that truancy hurts people and communities. Identifying those different impacts is important because they help you mobilize different constituencies to address the problem in your community. So let's start. Chronic truancy hurts communities. It's been linked to educational failure, increased juvenile crime, other risky teen behaviors, child abuse, increased adult crime, and long-term poverty. Other than that, let's go through them one by one. In terms of educational failure, chronic truants are more likely to do poorly in school, fail to earn high school credits, and drop out before graduating high school. Chronic truancy has been linked to serious delinquent behavior, gang activity, substance abuse, and crimes including burglary, auto theft, and vandalism. The study in Yonkers found that students in grades 7 to 8 who had more than 20 unexcused absences in a single year had a 21% chance of being arrested within three years. And that arrest rate was three times higher than the kids in the poorest neighborhoods in the community. So the truancy was much more of a risk factor than simply poverty. Chronic truancy has also been linked to use of alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs, early sexual intercourse, driving under the influence, or riding with someone who's driving under the influence. Chronic truancy also often masks child abuse. In 2006, New York City instituted a zero-tolerance rule after Nick Mary Brown was found beaten to death. She had missed 46 days of school before anybody reported her to Child Protective Services. If someone had acted earlier, it might have saved her life. So that that's part of why the county is working with us now to um, address truancy. What we learned from the Nick Mary case, this is from the deputy mayor, is that we want a system in place that produces a quick response to early signs that will prevent a situation from worsening. A study reported that an, average of in, an increase in the average years of education of one year, so if, if this community raised the average years of education of its residents by one year, it cut violent crime by almost 30%, motor vehicle theft by 20%, arson by 13%, and burglary and larceny by about 6%. What that means is one of the best long-term crime reduction efforts for this community is to help ensure that more of our youth graduate high school. Adults who are chronically truant have lower paying jobs, more reliance on welfare support, increased likelihood of living in poverty. I like this paragraph. It sums it up. Failing to earn a high school diploma is devastating for the individuals, but the negative effects of inadequate education seep throughout society. Dropouts are rarely prepared to contribute to the workforce, use more social service dollars than graduates, and require greater criminal justice expenditures than graduates. Adults who are chronically truant have increased propensity for violent behavior, poorer health and mental health, increased likelihood of incarceration. This was one of the conclusions that I reached in a um, crime reduction, juvenile crime reduction strategy for the uh, city of Yonkers. But it applies in each community that addresses it. It, the potential long-term benefits of addressing chronic truancy, especially in early grades, are enormous. New procedures could identify and help bring early intervention services to hundreds of high-risk youth in high-risk families who would otherwise, in most cases, float through the system unaided until they emerged again into public view as teenage delinquents, dropouts, and criminals. The early intervention services provided will not be able to save every student or turn around every dysfunctional family, but they offer our best hope for reducing school failure, violence, drug abuse, and crime. Addressing chronic truancy is an early warning system for families and children who are headed for that, on a trajectory for that life. The bottom line is if you care about helping at-risk kids, reducing crime, making sure schools succeed, protecting kids from child abuse, alleviating poverty, or strengthening our community, we share a common stake in addressing chronic truancy.
Thank you.